Wisconsin Democrats have turned to a relative political newcomer to lead them into the future. They elected Martha Lanning, state chairwoman, at their convention earlier this month. Lanning ran and lost a race for the Sheboygan area state senate seat last year. She's become more active in party politics in the past few years. And Martha Lanning joins us now on Up Front. It's good to have you on the program. Well, thank you so much for inviting me. I, I have to ask you, what did you learn from your personal experience? You ran for statewide office. What were the lessons learned that you take with you into this new role? I learned that when we talk about our values as Wisconsinites, that we find a lot more common ground than uncommon ground. And that's what I hope to bring uh, to the Democratic Party is that when we put out our messaging there, let's talk about the values that Wisconsinites stand up for because uh, that's going to make us make better choices for our future and turn things around here in the state of Wisconsin. Do you think in the past uh, that the party, and, and this is not to blame your predecessor or anyone else, but too much political back and forth? Public's weary of that? What do you think about that? Yeah, I absolutely think that instead of us attacking people, we need to be looking at the issues. And I think, um, you know, when, when we talk about specific issues, fairness, for example, you know, giving a tax break to manufacturers so that they literally are paying little to absolutely no state income tax, while all of the other industries like retail or construction pay 7%, that's not fair. And that resonates with both Republicans and Democrats. And I think it's important that we start talking about those issues. And talking about issues, do you see, does the party see, uh, let's be frank, political opportunity in this budget, the budget that's <laughs> currently being debated in Madison? Absolutely. This budget is a mess. I mean, $2.2 .2 billion deficit. And I think it is that way because of the poor choices that we've been made, you know, been making. We need to bring our progressive values back. We need to invest in education because education ensures that our businesses have the skilled workforce that they need and build success for them. And we need to ensure that we have strong funding to our technical schools so that people can get the training they need to have living wages. You know, we need to turn things around and the Republicans have made really bad choices that we want to talk about so that we can ensure that Wisconsin uh, is on a better track in what, the future. What kind of expectations do you have? Uh, let's say we look at the fall of 2016. What kind of gains do you think you can make uh, by, by that election period? I think we can make serious gains. You know, when we're looking at the situations here in the state and, and we're talking about the issues, so WEDIC, for example, that was Governor Walker's um, flagship job agency. And we just learned this week that they were actually encouraging counties to give out bonding to an organization that was using or wanted to use tax dollars to pay for a Maserati. I mean, when you're hearing about those kinds of things, it makes you see that we don't have the transparency and our legislators are not being responsible and ensuring that our agencies are using tax dollars responsibly. Democrats are going to bring to the table real responsibility. Uh, we want to have fairness. We want to ensure that there's opportunity for all, not just for a select group of people. And when we have that message, it's going to resonate with voters, and we're going to have big wins up and down the ticket. Uh, you speak of resonating with voters. Why haven't? Why hasn't the Democratic message resonated uh, with voters in, in a lot of recent state elections? What, what's the problem? Well, I think part of it is the swing. I think part of it is when things are tough and whoever's in office at that time, you, people wanted to blame something. But I think that's changing. And then secondly, I think that uh, Democrats need to get a message out that really resonates with their voters during our midterm elections. Yeah, that's and a real problem, isn't around. it? Yeah. Absolutely. So we're going to turn things around by being sure that people know that you need to vote in those midterm elections, that really your local and your state elections, they affect your life more than federal elections at times. So we need to be really sure that we're doing that. But now we're really excited about this upcoming election because having Russ at the top of the ticket, you know, Russ Feingold's one of us. He, he objects to money. In, in, um, in the elections outside money. Uh, he just put out a badger pledge to Senator Johnson to say, hey, let's let the people decide this. Whatever money we can earn for between the two of us, we'll use only that money. Unfortunately, Senator Johnson hasn't responded to that in over two weeks, but we know that Russ is out there representing us and he wants to do everything he can to be sure that he continues to represent the people and that we get money out of politics. Speaking of Russ Feingold, do you think he was hurt at all by, by the revelations that uh, his political action committee uh, that was supposed to be supporting candidates running for office 
Um, some of that money was being used to essentially keep former staffers on the payroll? Do you know, no, I don't think he was because I think that's been really blown up incorrectly. You know, Russ, uh, they endorsed my campaign when I ran for state senate in the Manitowoc and Sheboygan area, and I know a lot of support came my way because of his endorsement. Uh, the way that money came through wasn't always through his organization, and so I think that's a, a key that I really don't think that's an issue. And again, I think people are going to look at that Badger pledge to say, well, Russ Feingold is saying that he'll only use money during this campaign that he earns himself. So we're waiting to see what Senator Johnson says about that. Martha Lanning is the new chairwoman of the Wisconsin Democratic Party. It's good to have you on the program today. Thank you so much. I you appreciate it. Thank you. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders is coming to Wisconsin. The Vermont senator, who is the darling of progressives, will hold a rally Wednesday night at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Republican Governor Walker called on Republicans to redouble their efforts to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act after last week's Supreme Court decision upholding the ACA. You can track developments in Walker's bid for the White House by following the Walker Watch blog, which is kept by our editorial partner, WISPolitics.com. Coming up next, the great divide between Milwaukee and the rest of the state.